Stoners of Reddit, what's the best idea you've come up with while stoned? Legally change my last name to match my grandfather's who basically stepped up and acted as my dad my whole life. Being in his mid-90s, he's notoriously hard to shop for as material things don't mean much to him anymore. He was honored. Sitting on my porch one evening, I remembered my car was on empty. I figured I'd drive to the gas station down the street so I wouldn't have to rush in the morning. The weather was really nice, and I thought man, I should just walk there. This sort of happened to my friend's younger brother. He was high, and decided to drive to the gas station two blocks away, to get some snacks. Problem was he was so high, and that he always walked to the place, so he walked back home. He forgot and the next day he called my friend and his mom asking if they borrowed his car and ended up filing a police report. I don't know who found it, but it made me laugh. I was baked playing Skyrim. Realized just how satisfying hours of side quests can be. I want an RPG that is all side quests. The main plot is happening to someone else. Your primary focus is to bring that nice old lady some flowers, or to clear trolls from a cave. Let the other guy deal with the big bad demons or war, or whatever. You've got an errand to run for the shopkeep. You do get affected by the war etc. A bridge blew out, so you have to take another route. Supplies are low, so prices are climbing, and you have to really hunt for things. You overhear people in town complaining about burnt fields, or having fearful conversations in the pub. Every now and then you'll see a dude in crazy armor sprint by, but mostly you're just going about your day. If it was done right, I'd play TF out of that game. Call it Samaritan. Maybe, I'd play the hell out of that too. Depends on how involved you want your character to be in the storyline. But, maybe the final quest could be the hero coming to you for help. Battered and nearly defeated, depending on you for some key weapon that you learned how to make over time the sturdy handle made from the finest wood from the carpenter you helped, the blade from the blacksmith, who gave you his own knife, after you saved his son by delivering medicine, the magic imbued in the blade from this old lady, just before she passed away, because you were so sweet to her for months by cleaning her house, and bringing her her favorite berries each week, or something, etc. And so you're the only person in the city, who knows from all your experiences all the skills necessary to craft this final thing the hero needs. Watching South Park, I decided that, most, social media is high risk low reward and I'd rather be blissfully ignorant. It's tremendously improved my happiness, I say most BC Reddit, to me doesn't count, I'm more of a lurker and liker and my algorithm on here only shows me happy things and memes. Sometimes I won't understand memes, because I've removed myself from how I was receiving news. Sometimes I feel kinda behind, but I always feel happier than I used to looking at everyone's garbage. Best idea, I'll become a hairdresser I was 20 smoking a joint just sitting there. I did a few months at a community college and really didn't know what I was interested in. And then I was sitting back smoking a joint, and I just came to my head like bam. And I looked up at school near me, that was one of the best schools for hair where I lived. I enrolled and I'm still doing it almost 20 years later. I've traveled everywhere, and worked on many different projects throughout the years I'm more into real estate now. But I'm still at the salon a couple times a week. I also cut outside the shop and do weddings once in a while. One of the better ideas. So I was in the shower one night, enjoying the nice hot water, and then came the time to soap up. I grabbed this fancy soap bar that I received as a gift and that's when it struck me. Why don't I order myself some nice fancy soap bars online? Now, I'm a grown a man. Where would I find such soap bars? Well turns out that Amazon is some but surprisingly, Simmons, in Canada, has a cool selection of those, so I ordered for $100 of random soap bars. Sometimes, the little things are the best to enjoy. A take on the Bobby sandwich, which usually consists of turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and mayo. All of the cranberry sauce had been devoured by dinner, so we substituted pumpkin pie filling, and it was unbelievable. We called it the Steve Turkey as an ode to another famous innovator. Me and my buddy started to organize an idea for a movie script about how cats are aliens and dogs are the true friends who are trying to save us. We were inspired by the idea that he had this cat who'd only show up when we smoked, like it was spying on us. 
we talked about the idea for like 20 minutes, before realizing that's already a movie franchise and we were just effing highish. it's a bad idea, but it's the best idea, when you're stoned. My concept addressed the issue of lack of drive-ins to see movies. It modernized the entire affair, by eliminating the need, to drive bringing the drive-in to any part of the planet, and increasing the wow factor exponentially in the process. Now imagine sending up satellites shaped like your typical HDTV, and stringing thousands slash millions of them together, to create a giant display surface orbiting the planet in Leo. Each individual display would function as a pixel, altogether they would resemble a giant HDTV thousands of miles in size. Sound. No problem. Each person would wear a headset or earbuds for optimal sound quality. It would all be paid for by advertising of course. So shows would be free for those that would want to watch. I would imagine it would be quite the communal event, if it were possible. With entire swaths of space turning into giant picnics of sorts. I definitely have to rate this one as up there, or out there, on my personal list of ideas created, while under the influence. I came up with... 1. A theory to help lower paid workers earn more, by requiring the highest salaries, to be limited by the average worker's salary times some multiplier. This would include stocks and bonuses, and be required by any company receiving a federal contract. 2. Creating a county-based minimum wage, by using the average price to rent a one-bedroom apartment in that county and the 30% rule meaning. If you work a 40 hour week then no more than 30% should go to rent. The lowest minimum wage, if done by state, would be West Virginia at $14.25. 3. Homeless rehab centers, based on closed mouths. Transitional housing along the ring road, that goes around the mall. Green space in between. The food court can easily handle meals. Room for offices for aid and housing. Lawyers, medical treatment, and mental health services room for a school for the kids there would also be plenty of room for work training such as cooks in the kitchen you can train nurses in the medical facilities there's room to add some construction or other vocational trying programs if you set up sites in multiple states you could also help people transition to areas where it's safer or has more opportunities and also help if people want to relocate closer to their families I lived for a while in East Africa, and we could buy lots and lots of bush weed, but no skins or filters or tobacco or the like, but the weed was weak enough, that we just smoked it unadulterated, to make joints, we used to take straws from the bar, and use the McDonald's style paper covers as skins, and take the straw out, and refill with weed, and a roach, did the job, and made for gigantic joints. It took a couple of weeks for the hostel owner to notice that, whenever we stayed with him, the usage of straws went through the roof. When we ran out of those, he told us to go, and find a poor poor tree, and pull a leaf off, and keep the entire stem. It's a hollow stem, and has a handy bowl shape to the end of the stem, where it emerged from the tree branch, sorted, we thought, and hired one of the local kids, to come back with a branch of a poor poor tree. He was like 8 and didn't have solid English, and he and a gaggle of his mates came back 10 minutes later dragging an entire tree, freshly pulled from the ground, about 10 feet tall, make a long story short, we used all the leaves of the tree, and were idly tossing the denuded tree trunk about the place, when one of us dropped it, and broke it, we saw that the entire tree trunk was hollow, just like the stems, and were able to fashion a gigantic pipe out of each end of the broken trunk, felt like a bunch of effin' McGooivers. We did. Anyone got a similar tale of ingenuity? If I didn't want to give this one up, won't be nearly legal anytime soon but here it is. The cannabis. Similar to a party van, but for stoners. Bus with the backs torn out, to become lounges fit with beanbag chairs, TVs, stereos, a gaming system or two. People could rent out the bus for 3 hour sessions, before the session. We stock the bus with snacks and weed. We would allow people to bring their own weed, but encourage the high quality cannabis we provide. And a massive upcharge of course. Snacks will also be expensive. Going with the hotel minifridge technique, somewhere in the cabin of the bus, probably near a main seating area, will be a control tablet for the vehicle built into the bus. There, the passengers can change the lighting, work the TV, and even order food for the driver to pick up. That's pretty much all I got so far, but I have a notes page on my phone and I keep adding to the list.